campaigning beyond the stipulated time. The dispatch goes on to say that all campaign materials must be removed from all polling stations and counting centers. The dispatch is also warning against gatherings at polling and counting centers and adds that vehicles must be parked 100 miles away from polling stations. The IEC, according to the news release, is the body responsible for announcing the election results. Results from counting centers are therefore provisional until they are certified and announced by the chairman of the IEC. The Gambia, though small, can teach the world how to conduct elections peacefully. It ends. Meanwhile, the Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Aja Dr. Isetunjai Saidi, on Monday presided over the swearing-in ceremony of 14 newly promoted officers of the Gambia Armed Forces. Isetumane was at the State House ceremony that saw the decoration of two majors, four captains and eight lieutenants, with insignias that commensurate with their new ranks. 11365, have been commissioned and appointed to the rank of lieutenant the Gambia Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia hereby swear on the Holy Quran that I shall always work towards maintenance of high standards of unity, camaraderie, progress and discipline in the Gambia Armed Forces at all times. This was a moment when these newly promoted officers of the Gambia Armed Forces took their solemn oaths for their various ranks. Major General Suleiman Baji took the opportunity to advise officers to deliver as expected and stick to the oaths they took. This ranks given to you is not for decoration. Is given to you through trust and hard work, dedication. Utilize it wisely. Officers of the Gambia Armed Forces, there is no second chance for anyone. What you are expected to do is to deliver, to defend the nation. Francis Jada, talking on behalf of the newly promoted officers, thank their Commander-in-Chief for his relentless efforts in transforming the Gambia Armed Forces. Jata expressed their resolve to take the promotions as a challenge and deliver as expected. We are not taking these ranks to look onto our soldiers and to our soldiers as decoration, but to see it as responsibilities and tasks that have been invested into us for us to go out to deliver, to keep the peace and tranquility that his excellency president <coughs> have brought to this nation. The chief of defense staff believes that the unprecedented promotions taking place in the Gambia Armed Forces shows the commitment of their commander-in-chief to promote the welfare of the Gambia Armed and Security Services. Lieutenant General Masane Kinte reminded the officers of the oath they took, saying they are sacred. I want to use this occasion to remind you of the sacred oaths that you have taken this morning. Yes, you have been serving with utmost sincerity and loyalty, but it is important that we use these occasions to be able to remind ourselves of what is expected of us as officers who are not only leaders of men, but as officers who are also supposed to be role models and very good citizens of this country. The Vice President and Chairperson of the National Security Council said promotions in GAF are unprecedented, showing the commitment of government in creating the enabling environment for security personnel. Aja Dr. Aisha Tunjai Sedi described promotions as a challenge and urged them to maintain the hard work they are known for. Today, promotion in the Gambia Armed Forces is unprecedented. But you have to deserve it, of course. It shows that the Gambia Armed Forces is doing very well in terms of performance, in terms of diligence and commitment to duty, in terms of dedication, in terms of discipline. That's why today, His Excellency the President is able to pick out so many in different battalions and promote them. It's all based on deserving it, actually. It's not just like promoting a bunch of people from one uh, rank to the other. You have to have deserve moving from one rank to the other. And you know His Excellency said that promotion is not based on the length of service. Dr. Njai Sedi commended the Chief of Defense Staff for his diligence and dedication and urged the officers to respect the chain of command. For GRTS News, I am Isatomane.
Over now to an announcement from the Office of the President. His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Sheikh Professor Walhaji Dr. Yahya AJJ Jame, GMRG FAAICL, is pleased to declare Thursday the 24th and Friday the 25th of November 2011 as public holidays throughout the Gambia for the presidential election to enable people exercise their franchise. Well, time now to take our first break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Egypt's health ministry says more than 20 people have died in three days of clashes between protesters and security forces. The interim government is calling for calm, but with just a week to go until historic elections, the violence in Cairo and elsewhere recalls the struggle that brought down Hosni Mubarak just nine months ago. Demonstrators returned to the streets of Cairo on Monday, protesting about the proposal by the army that the military budget be shielded from the public scrutiny. CNN's Ben Wiedemann has more. So these clashes actually have been going on for about 48 hours. Uh, Tahrir Square behind me is relatively calm. Obviously, traffic is not going through it anymore. Most of the clashes are taking place to the east of here, around the Ministry of the Interior, which, of course, many Egyptians still believe is the source of police brutality and the kind of repressive uh, measures that they revolted against back in February when they overthrew the dictatorship of Hosni Mubarak, and there's really no question about it. This is some of the worst violence in Egypt since the overthrow of Mubarak. Much has changed in Egypt in the last 10 months, but Sunday in Cairo was a day of deja vu. Running street battles raged around Tahrir Square between protesters and security forces in a growing revolt against the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, which took over from Hosni Mubarak last February. Tear gas and rocks flew fast and furious. Security forces fired upon protesters with hard rubber pellets like these. Oh. This is what the police of Egypt are using against us, says Zahra. They're killing the youth of Egypt, shooting them in the eyes. I tell her, we were here on January 25th. It was the same scene. What has changed? Nothing has changed, she responds. We've gone backwards. The military council is garbage. Mubarak is still alive and well, and the people are dying. Shouts this man. Mubarak is running the military council and the whole country from prison. Mubarak and all the corrupt businessmen around him. Motorbikes rush the wounded to a makeshift field hospital, the same one that treated those injured during the uprising against Mubarak. To the protesters, the new military rulers look an awful lot like the old one. On January 25th, we were on this very street and we were also tear gassed. Now, months and months later, it's November and the same thing is happening all over again. So, now, of course, here you see, you know, some of the services provided by the revolutionaries. They're putting saline solution in our eyes, giving us Kleenex to wipe it off. What has changed is the once cowed and silenced people of Egypt have found their voice. Whoever ends up running this country will have to contend with a politicized, vocal, and demanding population that has learned to fight back. In a statement, the government said people have the right to... And before we go, a reminder of our headlines. President Jame and Burkina Faso's foreign, foreign minister, Jibril Basoli, have been discussing President Bless Kampore's proposed visit to the Gambia. Two newly promoted majors for captains and eight lieutenants today swore to execute their duties according to existing laws. Revolutionary fighters have captured Libya's fugitive former intelligence chief, Abdullah al senussi and protests sparked by the Egyptian military proposals to protect the defense budget 
from public scrutiny have left over 20 people dead. Well, you can follow these and other GRTS programs live on www.grts.gm. There you can also monitor GRTS radio live. And once again, His Excellency the President.